To remove the knobs, we have to push the rubber ring up to expose the hex key. Now we will remove the rear cavity cover. We want to remove these screws that hold the preamp to the body so we can move the preamp around. And here we're just disconnecting the piezo from the preamp. If you have no plans of reusing the original preamp, you can skip this entire step. Here I'm unsoldering everything because I'm planning on repairing this unit. As you'll see in your guitar, the neck and bridge pickup wires are already labeled, so either cut them or unsolder them like I am and put them aside. And just like that, the original preamp is removed. Since the new preamp uses pads, we're going to want to add solder to each pad before we try to connect the wire.
Just like we added solder to each pad on the preamp, we want to add solder to each wire before we start to solder as well. Now we're going to solder the three-way switch to the preamp. And now the bridge pickup. Off screen I installed a battery holder into the battery cavity and now we're going to solder it to the preamp. Before we go any further we're going to want to solder a ground cable to the input jack. Now we're going to solder the input jack to the preamp board and we are all finished. Ensure all solder points are strong and reassemble.